Hi everyone. I just wanted to quickly show some signs that are all around us today on July 9th that we're nearing the time of the, the end, the time of even a rapture event, however you believe it might happen. It's being shown to us over and over again. Those who have been following me, we've shown that in Jesus' right hand, he holds the seven angels, the seven stars, the seven sisters, the seven golden candlesticks, the seven churches, known where all the sweet influence of the universe is bound. And it's seen as a boot called the Pallades. See this boot right here? See how they're even showing this right here, the person looking at this, right at the boot? It also represents the time when Jesus Christ's heel is bruised, and then the head of the serpent is bruised. And then when we go to ascend to the Pallades, everybody is actually made to worship at our feet. This is above everybody. This all fits scripture. But do you see how this is shown to us right here in front of us? Now we've shown another thing, that the rapture event is seen like a birth, just like on this Egyptian glyph. Remember, Egypt is supposed to be there. Moses was brought out from underneath the burdens of Egypt, then set free. This burden of Egypt is supposed to be here. This individual comes down with the key to open the abyss. But right up here you can see the dog star Sirius, known as the Star of Bethlehem, part of God's throne. We have to get above this dog. That's where the boot is, above the dog, right there. The left side is the accuser, the right side is the power of God where Jesus Christ sits. You see this magic wand, literally, between these two domes like breasts for this phoenix to leave, right here by lightning. And this is the end of grace and mercy. And then the horsemen are off and running. Well, we show that all the time. I just wanted to show that right here, see that little boot? I mean, that's one thing, but we also mapped this out all around the world. For those that have watched my last few videos, we even showed right over here the same thing we've mapped out all around the world, the balance that's all around us right here at the Denver International Airport. It shows the woman giving birth. See the two breasts? We are born through the chest this time of spirit and water. Below here is what's known as the beast from the bottomless pit. Right above this is the woman. In the Bible it says the woman will be ready to give birth and the beast will be down below waiting to eat its children, eat her children. See right here? And we are born through her chest and we go through this jet. Literally, it's a link between the realms. This represents Jesus' open door. And then this individual is released and this woman is caught away. We've shown this over and over and over again. I wanted to show a quick message of how this is here again today. This is also when the heel is bruised and this thing's head is bruised. Then it miraculously recovers to come and take over most of the world. But see the boot? Isn't that fantastic right there in front of us? See here? Now here's our message. We are supposed to have patience. This is one of the things I teach a lot. You, you, for a rapture event in here, right here in the book of Revelation, it talks of the seven churches. One angel is assigned to each church, one of the seven angels, no matter what church you go to, you're part of it. This is one of the churches that's raptured, and they're told to have patience. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell on the earth. And we're caught away. And then they actually have to worship at our feet. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Isn't this beautiful right there? Well, there we go. We have the same thing being shown to us. There's the boot where everybody will have to worship at our feet. And now we need something about a jet. This has been in the news today. Priscilla Presley tells upset fans to calm down. Everybody have patience. They are thinking about removing this jet and all from Grace Land. See here? Elvis planes may depart Graceland for destinations unknown. Did you read that right there? And then we show consistently that a deception comes. See right here this new type of pill where the two halves are blended together? Here's your message all day long. There's the red pill 
deception coming. See right here? Eat this kills high blood pressure. The red pill deception. After the plane leaves for a destination unknown from grace. It's, we're nearing the time of the end of grace and mercy. So everybody calm down and have patience. I just wanted to show that and show that it's right in front of us all day long. There's the boot. There's our destination right there. Confess with your mouth. The Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. Let's all have patience. We all know there's an open door for us to get to heaven, to escape from this red pill deception coming. Thank you very much, everybody. Hallelujah. Have a blessed day.